So, uh, for Off the Cuff's first show, we did stories all about firsts, and uh, what I shared about was my first job, and more specifically, the last day of my first job. Um, I worked at Quick Trip for a while, and so if you haven't heard about Quick Trip, allow me to enlighten you for a second. Um, it's a gas station, but it's it's much more than that. It's a convenience store, but you know, it's much more than that because you can get just about anything there. You can get so much stuff. You can get like food and, and gas. Um, but a big part of what makes Quick Trip great is that every time you go in and, and you check out, um, you're thanked and you're invited to come back with the phrase, see you next time. And it's a big thing in, in the Midwest, especially, and it has been for a while. I can remember stopping and, and splitting a two pack of cheesy breadsticks with uh, my brother when he was still in his car seat. And my family frequently stopped at Quick Trip for a, a meal on, on the road. And so needless to say, Quick Trip was ingrained into my childhood. And so when my dad um, told me that our local Quick Trip was hiring, I jumped at the chance and, and I applied. And as you may have guessed, I landed my first job at Quick Trip 427 in Bloomer. Over the next few years, though, Quick Trip sort of became um, more and more of a meme. Uh, everybody at school knew that I worked at Quick Trip, and so I, I played into it. I would plug the specials any chance I got. Three for a dollar Dunkers, four for a dollar Cake Donuts, a 24-pack of uh, bottled water for $1.99, which is a pretty good deal, actually. Um, I would fawn over these new foods and, and deals to my friends. I even have this framed picture of the company's founder, Don Zietlow, um, in my dorm room and my room now uh, with the caption, my hero. And, and so throughout school, I was constantly cracking jokes about how much I loved Quick Trip, but, you know, deep down, you know, it's just a convenience store. Um, and so two years of this Quick Trip memory uh, passed and, and I was facing the last day of work before I shipped off to Carlton. And um, my last day was pretty uneventful for the most part, and I was indifferent about leaving that day. Um, but before I went home, I had to pick up some tomato paste at my local um, grocery store because we were making chili at home. And so I pulled into the parking lot of the grocery store, um, and I felt a little bit weird about going into this grocery store with my full Quick Trip uniform, you know, like the, the name tag, the blue shirt, the uh, black pants. And so I ended up taking the name tag off because, I mean, it, it made it a little less obvious, the uniform. And so I found what I needed and I got into this big long line and there, there was another big long line right next to me. And um, my line was moving a little bit faster than the line next to us. Um, and so this older woman comes and, and joins my line. Uh, and and she sort of looked like this um, great aunt sort of character. Uh, she had uh, wavy gray hair and uh, she was a little frail and, and shook a little when she talked. Uh, and so she struck up a conversation with me. She was like, lines. And I was like, yeah. And so I indulged her in conversation for a little bit, um, cracking jokes with her like I do. Um, and she was really sweet. And after a little bit, she noticed my uniform with the, I had a Quick Trip logo on the uniform. And, and she said, oh, you work at Quick Trip. That's why you're so nice. And I laughed and I said, thank you. And, and she continued saying how she appreciated that the employees were always like inviting her to come back with the phrase, see you next time and, and thanking her for stopping by. And she even mentioned the ads outside of Quick Trip that we put on these big poster boards. Uh, she said, the signs say something like, we want awesome people. And that's who you guys are. And to cap it all off, she said how she was so frustrated about how she wanted to be able to interact with and 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 know the quick trip employees outside of the store but she couldn't ever recognize them without their uniforms and at this point we'd gotten to the front of the line we were uh, checking out and we went our separate ways and this interaction just floored me because i had never heard someone talk so genuinely about uh, the service that they had encountered at quick trip like I, I had been joking around about Quick Trip for 
two years. I, I it, it ended up being a huge meme for me, but to this woman, it was a, a good part of her life, and we were making a difference in her life. And so because of this, I ended up seeing the real impact that I was having at this job. And, and I ended up um, feeling really sorry to see Quick Trip go. And so to Quick Trip, even though I was the one working for you for the past two years, I'd like to say thank you, and I'll see you next time. We'd love to have you at Off the Cuff, and uh, hope to see you at one of the meetings these days.